Hello, and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. I'm getting ready to make a blueberry lemon bundt cake. First of all, I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour in here. To that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. half of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together and set it aside and that'll be ready when I need it. Okay, now I'm gonna take two sticks of butter softened to room temperature, that's one cup, put it in there along with one and three fourths cups of sugar. I have that all measured out. We'll put that in there. And I'm gonna let those beat together until they cream up. Okay, I'm gonna to add to that butter and sugar that's creaming up. This is the zest of two large lemons. So I'm gonna put that in there too and it can get mixed in. And now I'm gonna add three eggs, one at a time. a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add half of the flour mixture. And I'm going to mix that in. I have three-fourths of a cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna put that in. Mix that in. And I'm gonna put the rest of the flour. I have two cups of blueberries here. These were in the freezer. I took them out of the fridge. They're still partially frozen. And I just rinsed them off because they had pieces of ice on them. And then I laid them on paper towels to kind of dry off a little bit. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour to those and just toss them a little bit. Doing this helps the blueberries to not all fall to the bottom of the cake to be more evenly distributed. I'm gonna put those in. Because they're wet, they're probably gonna have more of a blue color in the cake. And I don't really care, that doesn't do anything for the flavor for sure. All right, my oven's heated up to 350. This is all ready to go in this pan. This is my bundt pan, and I greased it with butter flavored shortening and then floured it. And I did, I tried to do it thoroughly because otherwise it'll stick. You can use a baking spray that has flour in it, but anytime I've tried that, it still sticks to the pan bad. So I prefer to just grease it with either butter or shortening and then flour it really good. smooth it out on top here.
Okay, that's ready for a 350 degree oven. And let's see how long I usually bake this. 50 to 60 minutes, I'll set it for 50 and then I'll check it with my cake tester, make sure there's no doughy places in it. And I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, the lemon blueberry bun cake is done. I need to cool it for a half hour and that half hour is almost up. And after I invert it onto the plate, the container that I'm gonna have it on, I need to make a syrup, a lemon syrup to brush on it and let that sink in while it's still warm and keep it moist. And so what I'm gonna do is take three tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and three tablespoons of water. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave just until it starts to boil. Okay, that was all bubbly. And into it, I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna stir that up good until the sugar dissolves. Okay, the cake came out of the pan perfectly. Nothing stuck in the pan at all. And I put it on this Tupperware so I'll have a lid then that I can put over it when it's done. But right now, I wanna take this lemon sugar and water syrup that I made and I want to put this on it. And I want that to soak in. Okay, the lemon blueberry cake is cool enough that I can put a, a icing on it that I wanna make. I have four ounces of cream cheese in here and three tablespoons of butter that I allowed to come to room temperature. And I'm gonna mix these up. Okay, I have two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice I'm going to put in there and I want a nice heaping cup of powdered sugar. And we'll mix that up. Probably more icing than I need, but. I'll cut it here in a little bit. Once that icing sits on there for a while, 